back to DXB today. I am now joined by Eleonora Barbicini. Thank you very much for joining us on the show. Thank you for having me. So something I like to ask always, when did you start singing? When did the passion start? Oh, it started very, very early. I was a little baby and I come from a musical family. So my mom is an opera singer. My father is an opera conductor. So I've been listening to music literally all my life. Okay. And I think once you get close to this world, I think it's very hard not to be fascinated by it. So immediately I started singing. And when did you start doing it professionally? Professionally, I think around 18, 19. Okay. I was already doing my big auditions yeah. and yes. Did you study for it or was it something that you just yes. like picked up? No, I studied. There's okay. a lot of study behind singing and yeah really a lot and uh, my luck I think is that I come from a family that really not only was super talented but also put a lot of work and a lot of study in what they're doing and I think it's a beautiful example and uh, for me it's been a beautiful example. I can only imagine being in that household having everyone being a singer everyone singing all together <laughs> it's, I think it's so much fun as well growing up having a family like that. My family is really fun it's, yeah. still, it's <laughs> really like a artist family so yeah and I, I you told me that the song that you're gonna be performing just got released so can you please tell us more about it yes I'm really excited I actually wrote so many songs and kept them in my drawer let's say yeah. so I really never had the courage to to release them because they were very very personal and finally I decided that uh, I mean what's I think it's the best way to just uh, release your emotions through music and yes. creativity and uh, this song talks about uh, intoxicated it's called intoxicated love so it talks definitely about uh, toxic uh, love and relationship <laughs> which <laughs> i know it's a lot very of people common. have been through that <laughs> yes, very very common <laughs> yeah. and very very personal so for me the song is very special and i do you have places that you happy. perform in here in, in dubai yes i am a freelancer here in dubai so okay. i perform uh, every day of the week, I'm in different places. I'm in uh, Thursday night. I will be in uh, Flashback Speakeasy at Paramount. Nice. We have a very nice, fun show. And on uh, Friday, Miami in Emirates Towers. It's a very, very beautiful show as well. Okay. And where can people find you on social media? Social media, Eleonora Barbacini. Okay. But I would like you to pronounce it. Eleonora you pronounce it a Barbacini. <laughs> That's how you guys say it. <laughs> That's good. nice. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll have you get ready. And now, as the region's leading international art fair, Art Dubai, comes to an end this weekend, Amy went down to take a look at all the highlights. So let's check it out. I'm here at Art Dubai 2024, where I'm going to be checking out some of the incredible artists that are showcasing their work here. Everything from contemporary modern art right through to digital art. So let's not waste any time. Let's go. So joining me now is so Sugleg. Thank you so much for joining DEXB today. So we're stood here in front of an amazing installation here, which is the instruments that you use to paint and create your hour. First of all, let's dive into what are we looking at right now? <laughs> uh, it's so uh, great to be speaking this morning. So I'm really happy to be sharing this project with Art Dubai Digital. It's an ongoing exploration of human machine. These are my uh, robots that I've built the system for. I call them drawing operations unit generation. Incredible. So if you're creating a piece, I understand that you're wearing a headset that sends the brain waves through to the machine. Can you just go into a little bit more detail as to what is that all about? What's your creative process when you're creating a piece of art? Yeah, uh, I'd love to share that actually. So I think for me, I'm always fascinated by a question a question about uh, my own meditation, what it means to uh, sort of uh, have a brainwave signal, uh, what it means to just kind of be alive and inhabit the space I'm in. So for this generation, I put on an EEG headset uh, while I'm meditating because I read that when you're in a state of meditation, certain aspects of your brainwaves are heightened. So I really wanted to explore that and use that as my own creative catalyst, a way of creating a different connection with the machine that, uh, that I could really learn from and grow through. 
So joining me now is Motaz Nasser. Thank you so much for joining DXV today. So first of all, I want to jump straight in and just know how has your culture and experience influenced your artwork and especially the artwork that you're showcasing here at Art Dubai? Oh, it's a lot. I mean, it's like we've been always uh, influenced by whatever is happening around me. No artist is like a kind of a sponge. They, they feel, they see, they collect, whether visually or, or uh, audio, and, they, they, and then they, they bring all this out. So it definitely affects all of my artworks since the very beginning. Okay, so with that being said, we're stood in front of one of your amazing pieces. <laughs> Why matches? <laughs> uh, matches is actually it's a long story actually it's like uh, it started a long time ago actually for me it's like uh, since I, I think I remember that my uncle once he told me that we are like matches so we are so fragile somebody can broke us but you always remember that this power this energy of fire inside them that they can fight that they can continue that they can stand up for it <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on Art Dubai 2024. I've had a truly incredible time. It's been amazing getting to meet some of the incredible artists, their thought-provoking concepts and incredible innovations. But that's it for now. So I hope you will enjoy researching some of the incredible artists that you've seen today so you can carry on enjoying their fantastic work. Thank you, Amy, for that. Another astounding art Dubai rolling, or rolling its way out now. It's <laughs> rolling and rolling out, but it was amazing. Um, guys, remember, all these highlights, all these bits of the shows that you enjoy, they're all available on YouTube, so make sure to check us out on Dubai One TV. And we're giving away prizes. We're giving away entertaining keys, custom speakers, Izakaya dinner vouchers, and so much more. So head down to our Instagram page to check it out indeed and do not forget to hashtag yes indeed that is a wonderful thing to do and i suppose that's all for today unfortunately but make sure and join us again very soon as we talk about and embrace the idea of an economy that's driven by rent i've got an interesting question if you get into a leap year and it's the 29th of the month and there's the one that is 28 days how do you pay more extra money on that extra day or do you get a discount all that question and a lot more on DXB today. But for now, <laughs> as promised, we have our performance of the evening from the wonderful Eleonora Barazzini. She has been with you for the past two years.